Hello and welcome back. This is Acadian Azeroth with Hunter Talk. This is episode four in the series. And today we're going to be talking about the scenario from the Legion pre-patch. Uh, basically, we're going to break it down from the Alliance side first, then we'll break down the Horde side. And basically, just figure out where to go from here. Okay, so, basically, we're going to start uh, just before Varian gives the order to fall back to the, the gunship. All right. The, Hort, the Alliance leaders are looking up at a hilltop where Lady Sylvanas and her riders are. And they see Lady Sylvanas hop on her mount. And moments later they hear a horn and they basically say, I know they didn't just do that. And then Varian says, fall back to the gunship, let's get everybody out of here. And basically it from the Alliance perspective, it was a very douchebag move. They basically turned their backs on the Alliance and left. That's what the Alliance players see. That's what the Alliance leaders see. That's what Jaina sees. Uh, from the Alliance perspective, that's what happened. Okay, now let's break down the Horde side of it. Basically, they're fighting. They're surrounded on three sides. And Vol'jin takes a really nasty stab uh, through his back, out his gut. And basically, he's falling and he knows he's going to die. And his last ditch effort for what he wanted to re be remembered for was getting everybody out of there alive. And so he basically yells out to Jaina, do it now, get them out blow the horn. So Lady Sylvanas jumps on her mount, runs to, to Vol'jin, gets him on her, her mount, and blows the horn and they leave. Uh, that's basically what happened uh, from the Horde perspective. They didn't abandon. It was a tactical retreat. Uh, don't die today, live to you know fight another day kind of thing. And Basically, because they did that, they're still a horde. And because Varian sacrificed himself, they're still an alliance. Now, I want to break down the, the Varian uh, sacrificing himself scene in the cutscene. Uh, basically, he orders everybody back to the gunship. And as he's coming up the ladder, a humongous demon hand grabs the side of the gunship as it's, you know, leaving and tries to pull it down. Varian reaches up with the scroll and says, give this to my son. And he sacrifices himself. And in doing so, he kills the demon. As he gets down to the ground, he starts fighting with multiple demons and this, the scene with his sword is amazing. I want this sword for my warrior. It is amazing. It goes from being a two-hander down to two one-handers. That is badass. I want that for my warrior. But with that said, uh, he gets stabbed twice in the back. And both both blades go directly through him. Uh, at this time, Gold Anne approaches him and says, You will be... Uh, remembered as the king who sacrificed himself for nothing. Varian's dying words, and I don't mean nah! what I'm talking about is where he says for the alliance. Okay, break that down. That is an achievement that gives them out. Okay, and uh, when. Lady Sylvanas announces to the Horde that she's going to be the new war chief. Uh, all the NPCs that are right there where she's at start saying, For the Horde, for the Horde, for the Horde, and they're chanting it over and over. Okay, so break this down. For the Horde is the Horde equivalent of the For the Alliance achievement. Basically, you get it for killing all of, all of the, the Alliance leaders. 
and you get a black warbear. For the alliance, you go kill all of the uh, horde faction leaders at the at the capital cities, and basically you get a black warbear. Okay, so with that being said, both cutscenes end with the words "for the horde, for the alliance." What is Bliss telling everybody to go do? They want everybody to get that mount before Legion. I don't know it for a fact. I'm totally speculating. Quote me on it if you want, but if you do, it's out of context. I believe that Blizzard is telling players, get that mount before it's gone. That's what it sounds like. That's what I'm. Th that's what I got from these cutscenes. Take it with a grain of a grain of salt because I may be wrong. I may be right. But the fact that it's there in both horde side and alliance side, the name of that achievement. Go get it before it becomes a feat of strength, and then it won't be available anymore. Uh, thank you for listening, and as always, have a great day.